Deer farming is a popular business in China and Russia. But unlike other livestock, deer are not farmed for their meat or skin. Actually, they are popular for their antlers, which are also known as velvet antlers or deer velvet. It is claimed that traditional Chinese medicines and soups made up of antlers could improve loss of interest in sex, cure erectile dysfunction, arthritis pain, liver damage and even anemia. However, there is a little to no research to back these claims. It can increase endurance in young men, but research suggests that it cannot improve sexual function in middle-aged or older men. Banned in many countries around the globe, antlers harvesting is a controversial industry due to poor, outdated methods of harvesting. But it is 100% legal in China and Russia. Let's see what goes into deer farming and what are those controversial methods. Deer farming is not that much different from goat or sheep farming. They require similar environment, eat similar food and can be raised side by side with other forms of livestock. Two years old buck begin to grow antlers for the first time between late March and early April. During this time, two stumps of bone pop out from the deer's pedicels, wrapped in a thin layer of velvet skin. The velvet contains the oxygen and nutrients needed for the antlers to grow into healthy, mature antlers. 120 days later, antlers attain their maximum size but they cannot be harvested yet, as they are not hard enough and have lots of active blood vessels. In next 45 days, soft antlers would consume enough minerals to be in cartridge form and then it will be safe to cut them. To harvest the antlers, a traditional mechanism traps and lifts the deer. The head is secured into the position with the belts and ropes. If not tied properly, deer could severely injure himself and others around him or in worst case, break the antlers in half while trying to flee the trap. The cutting process takes less than 2 minutes to complete. To prevent infections and heals the wound rapidly, anti-infection powder is rubbed on the antlers base. The antlers are made up of cartridge which is different from the solid bones, so the entire process is not that painful as it looks. It is sad to see such a beautiful creature without its antler. Now, some of you might be anxious at this point and might think it is criminal to steal such a beautiful ornament from nature. However, you will be surprised to know that deer are going to shed them anyway. Each year when mating season is over, male's body suddenly reduces the production of testosterone hormone, which activates the specialized cell called osteoclasts. These cells eat away the antlers pedicel, making them baseless and weak. As the base is gone, antlers no longer receive required nutrients, hence becoming hard and dry as log in winters. The ornament, which once was a crown, now becomes unbearable headache. To be relieved from the irritation, deer needs to get rid of it and just a strong head shake gets the job done. However, these antlers are considered useless for medical purposes due to lack of minerals. Just like human nails and hairs, antlers keep growing back for almost entire lifespan of the deer. They will regrow, gaining their peak size in just 120 days. Each pair of antlers weigh around 6 to 8 kilograms. To sterilize them, they are soaked in diluted salt water at 75 degrees Celsius. Salt water also helps in removal of velvet from the antlers. Next, they are sent to the laboratories, where high-tech machines process them and reduce them to the powder. Powder is used in a wide variety of medicines and even sold and consumed in its raw form. It is said that bathing with this powder makes your skin glowing and soft while releasing harmful toxics from your body. Some supporters also say that deer velvet can improve performance in sports, increase energy, improve immune function, help you better handle the stress. The production of the powder is not only limited to the antlers, it can be produced from the deer's blood too. In China, bottles of blood are extracted from the deer, which are later sent to the modern facilities. These facilities process the blood to convert it into the powder form. This powder is then combined with the different types of chemicals to produce a variety of medicines for different diseases. It is strange that a substance is being used to produce medicines that is not scientifically proven to be helpful in most cases. The world is becoming a strange place day by day.